She got me caught up in the moment. Got me caught up in the moment. She got me caught up in the moment. Got me caught up in the moment. I only kiss her when she on it. Eighty nine point nine KMOJ, the People Station, tight at night on this Monday, the tenth of September. Something from May back with bag of money and also this new R and B brother who goes by the name of Jacob Lattimore with You Come First. Styles. Rocky B. Hopefully those of y'all that are listening right now, we're about to sit down and chop it up with one of our own. He goes by the name of Tech. Recently got rushed on Rush to the Flush It. What up, brother? What's happening? How you feeling, first of all? Yeah, I'm feeling good, man. Glad to be here, man. Uh, appreciate all the love I've been getting from the show and all that, you know. First time here? Uh, first time here. First time being on the air at Not KMOJ. First time right here. Yeah, yep, yep. All right, all right. So tell us, brother, who are you? Where you from? Who is Tech? Ah, I'm Tech from St. Paul. I've uh, been doing it uh, since, like, high school for a while. Um, producer, MC, uh, engineer, everything you can think of, I do it. A little bit of everything. So beats and rhymes, you name it. Everything. How long you been rapping? Uh, so I've been rapping for about eight years. And how long you been kind of producing, you know, all For of the other things producing, that you Producing, I can't even... I've been producing since I was little, in my opinion, just, you know, making up my own little beats. And I bought a drum machine when I was younger, and ever since, like, junior high, so for about, like, 15 years. Okay. How did you know that you even had that talent to produce? Oh, uh, man, it's in the family. Like, I come from a long, like, line of musicians and, um, you know, just sitting down, tinkering with a lot of my uncle's instruments and... Playing a lot of my dad's old records has just got me, you know, interested since I was like a baby. What's your favorite instrument to play? Uh, I play the drums. Um, nice. That's pretty much. You like beats. Yeah, yeah nice. beats. exactly. The drum, the heart. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I play the drums, yo. So let me ask you this, man. One of the, our first song that we played of yours is work. Did you get a chance to hear it on the radio? Yeah, uh, yes, I did. Actually, the first night, I believe y'all played it. I got a phone call like, yo, bro, you on the radio? So I tuned in. I'm like, yo, that's big. Run us through that, how you, what, what were you feeling when you heard your music on the radio, man? Uh, <laughs> I was feeling a certain way. I knew it was on Rush or Flush. I'm like, oh boy, you know, <laughs> here comes everybody's opinions. But, you know, at the end of the day, it really don't matter. Um, it's, I'm glad a lot of people got to hear the song, you know, um, the way it happened and how you guys got the song. It, it just, it, it makes me feel good that people are paying attention to what I'm doing. Because, I mean, I didn't even send the song in. You guys, like, found it and and played it and that's love and i appreciate it. i want to thank y'all you know i appreciate Welcome. all the love Welcome. i've been getting for, for, Wait, for so that. how did you react to uh the people's opinions what was your reaction towards them <laughs> uh, like especially the flushers of the course. flushers shout out to the flushers um <laughs> you know i i'm not used to hearing uh my opinion a lot you know um on a lot your of, music yeah on my music i'm not used to hearing it you know because i'm I, I make music around all my family you know and they they all support me no matter what. Right. But to hear it, you know, from people that, you know, I have no idea who they are, where they're coming from. And, you know, their opinions are their opinions. I respect it no matter where they, whether they like it or, or they don't, you know. Um, but it, it felt, you know, it felt different to hear people not feeling it or to hear people feeling it. It's always like, dang, like, what can I do to make people, like, want to flush it no matter what or right. want to rush it no matter what, rather, instead of, like, feeling like I'm doing something that they've heard before or something that they don't feel is original or dope. You know, it make, that's what I forgot from it, you know? I just want to know why or what I could do to make people want to just rush it at all times. Right. Yeah. Well, so we got you here tonight. How has this experience been for you, really? Dope, man, like, it's, it's big. Like, first time being up here, like I said, uh, opportunity to be on the radio, opportunity to be heard by a lot of people. You know, I'm just humbled by it. I, I feel good by it. And, uh, like, the opportunity to be here is big. The fact that, you know, it was because the city was showing my song love and it gave me a chance to come out here and, you know, uh, explain what I'm doing and what I'm about. You know, it's real huge. So then how do you feel about Minnesota music and where we are today? Man, Minnesota music, like, if you go out of state, you don't really even see a local scene like our local scene. Like, anywhere else, everybody would be famous. Like, I feel like it's just, like, right on that edge where, like, at any time, any anybody could, like, get on and just like bring everybody with them but it's just a matter of you know how we do it like are we are we gonna work together with this are we gonna like try and be clickish and separate and like not really like work together to try and like really make our music scene like something national or something worldwide but like i feel like we got all the talent in the world to be able to have you know the opportunity to be seen on a national level like shout out the atmosphere brother ali and them that are doing their thing real big you know my guy taylor j about to blow like there's a lot of artists that I feel like can just like take it to the next level. We just gotta do it the right way, you feel me? 
What are some things you think are holding holding us, y'all, back? Man, like, there's a whole number of things. Like, I feel like I feel like the support could be could be a lot like different. Like, even even the way that, you know, people support certain artists and not other artists, like it's like if we all like go out and show love to everybody, you'll be surprised like that one person could could take that next to, could take it to the next step. I feel like people are just too separate and too naive at, on what they, you know, want to listen to. And then there's a lot of cats in the game right now, I feel like should just step back off the mic and let like some of the other cats <laughs> do their thing. No, no, no disrespect, but like, you know, you gotta know when, you know, it's your time and when it's not. You know, and I'm just keeping it real, like some cats should be rhyming. You know, some cats right. shouldn't be making beats. Like right. some cats shouldn't be doing and it's over it's it's making it so like people are like, oh, he raps too, you know? And right. it, and then that makes cats that take it like super serious. Like feel like they're in the same category as those cats that just really want to make a couple songs for people to listen to in their hood, which is cool if that's what you want to do. But it's 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 making us all feel like we're like just not gonna get nowhere with it, you know. So it's just oversaturated with too many right. people yeah, actually yeah, trying yeah, to do yeah, it yeah, and can, be the one to make it. Way. Definitely. Is there is there a way that you think you can kind of weave through yeah, the men from the mice? I mean, what's up? I mean, yeah, most most definitely. I mean, the music is gonna speak. Regardless of who's doing it or how many people are doing it, if you got music that people are gonna love, I feel like it's gonna speak for itself. And um, there's a lot of cats out there that got music that can like really be like <laughs> some classic, classic music. And uh, it's just gonna take that one cat to just be noticed. Like, okay, he might you know be able to do something. And then say it was me, I'm the type of brother to be like, you know, we all are. Are you that cat? All right. I feel like I'm. I feel like I can be that cat. Yeah, definitely. Cause I. Cause I, you know, I do, I do make my own beats. You know, I do feel like I'm not just out here being ignorant with my rhymes. You know, so I mean, I feel like I can be that cat. You know, I can cross over on that side or that side. So, where can people find your music and find out for themselves? Um, check me out on Twitter. Really, Twitter is where I talk the most. You know, I I, I like people to be in my business. Uh, I put myself out there. So, uh, check me out on Twitter. My Twitter is uh, twitter.com/slash/techhiphop. T e k h i p h o p follow me on Twitter um, I'm usually posting all my music I'm posting all my other websites on Twitter so I like people to really like you know pay attention to my Twitter page if they want to reach me online um, so one more time what's your Twitter uh, twitter.com slash tech hip hop t-e-k-h-i-p-h-o-p and, and follow me on Twitter and it's basically it's it's my day to day uh, everything I'm doing and my shows my events and you know get people to be all my business for sure. Gotta give a shout out to NI612. What up, NI? Films up in here. What up, Kels? What up? What up, Kels? Getting back to the music. Mercy, right here on Camel Jack. The People Station.